Suburban Politicians Charity has attracted the attention of the Illinois Attorney General after failing to file financial documents. So Tiffany A. Hinyard is officially under investigation by the State Attorney General. We knew this time would come. Okay, so today we are back talking about Tiffany A. Hinyard, Super Mayor. Now, for those of you who do not know who Tiffany A. Hinyard is, she is one of the most corrupt politicians in America today. Okay, so now before we start talking about the charity, if this is your first time ever watching a video on this crazy corrupt mayor, Tiffany A. Hinyard, here's a little background for you. And if you have seen this stuff before, you can fast forward because the stuff on the charity is right after this. So before Tiffany A. Hendrick became mayor of Dalton, she was arrested for breaking into cars in Chicago. Then she became the first woman mayor of Dalton, Illinois. And the first thing she did was hire her friend who happened to be a child sex offender to go into people's homes. 46 year old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Redman served 25 years in prison for the brutal gang rape and beating of two young teenage girls in the 1990s. We also have the luxurious Las Vegas strips, obviously paid by the taxpayers. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Actually, yes. <laughs> Mayor Henyard and other top officials traveled to Sin City in May to attend a shopping center conference. It's unclear if it helped Dalton land any deals. The credit card records do shed some light on tax dollars spent at several restaurants near the Strip, including Cafe Hollywood and Hot and Juicy Crawfish. They show township taxpayers also spent money on the Vegas Strip on everything from steak dinners to hotels and $3,741 just on Henyard's round-trip flight. But I shouldn't have to sit up here and break all this down. And let's not forget about her telling the taxpayers Bitch better have my money. And I'm looking for that Rihanna. That's what I'm looking for. This is what they told me to tell y'all. Right here. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. So now you've been caught up on some of the old stuff. And listen, it's crazy. There's a lot more. That is just maybe a minute and a half or two minutes of some old stuff, but that's not the worst of it. There's a lot of other stuff. An Illinois mayor is getting national attention for the way that she's spending taxpayer dollars. Now, critics say you can't turn your head in the Chicago suburb of Dalton without seeing the name of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. She's also the supervisor of a neighboring township and refers to herself as Super Mayor. It's her TikTok handle, too. But she's now accused of spending tens of thousands of taxpayer funds on self-promoting billboards, as well as putting her name on government buildings, government vehicles, even government rugs. Not to mention the Tiffany Henyard calendar, which includes the super mayor's birthday, because you can't forget that. She could pay for all of this herself, given that her salary for the two jobs is nearly $300,000. More than the state's governor, by the way. But it's all on the taxpayer's dime. And this goes beyond signage and merch. Henyard put an ordinance in place that if she lost a future mayoral election, the next mayor's salary would be dropped from 200,000 bucks to 25,000. But if she wins, it stays the same. But we are now talking about charity and what looks to be charity fraud, but we don't know that as of yet. So let's not jump the gun. So let's start with what charity are we talking about? We're talking about the Tiffany Cares Charity for Cancer. I want people to know that I'm caring. So Tiffany Henyard told me in November she cares. Apparently so much so, it's also the name of her charity. Check it out. The Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation posts videos highlighting walks and other events that prominently feature the politician proudly promoting her cancer charity. I just want people to know that, hey, Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation is here. We will help anybody in need. Now, Tiffany A. Henyard was blessed because as soon as the charity opened, what did she do? She got the town 
to give $10,000 worth of public money to her charity. So last fall, Henyard did something that would seemingly generate some good publicity, helping establish the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation to help breast cancer patients. And on the very day the charity was chartered, it received a huge donation, $10,000, from the Thornton Township Board, which Henyard presides over. Taxpayer money shouldn't be paid into those types of things. Now, Tiffany A. Henyard funneled thousands and thousands and thousands of tax dollars into this charity through various schemes like forcing them to pay for hotels paying for walks that she had done essentially the town was paying for this charity we got 10 days we're going 196 miles last october henyard led a delegation of dalton and thornton township employees and political supporters on a march to springfield to promote her breast cancer charity which she documented on her facebook page we're walking through dalton hi we're in brightwood now we are in godly now we in bloomington baby now would i shock you if i said she charged that whole trip that whole experience to the taxpayers well then be shocked that's right henyard billed thousands of dollars in hotel rooms and meals during the trip to thornton township and dalton credit cards in addition the videos show henyard used multiple village and township vehicles owned by taxpayers to escort the caravan including a flatbed trailer with a photographer flying a drone and a dj we got our bear right here coming from dalton illinois walking all the way to springfield yeah. So the charity's marching to Springfield, Illinois, and they must have t-shirts and swag. Just like you see my shirt, swag, baby. But who do you think is going to pay for those t-shirts? Because they're not free, right? Somebody's got to pay for that. Well, the taxpayers. Let them pay for it. A week before the trip, the township paid $17,000 for specially printed hoodies and t-shirts, but won't say what they're for. So then the good people of the media said, hey, let's ask the mayor, why the hell is the town and all these public funds going to your personal charity? That's crazy. So here's what she had to say. And so we did. I want to ask you a few questions. Okay. But Henyard wasn't anxious to talk about her charity. Why did you and the, and the board vote to give your foundation $10,000? I'm the face of the foundation. My name is Nowhere, sir. Say I, again? My, I'm the face. You're the, the face. face. What was the purpose of going to Springfield? Thank you, guys. Hey, she doesn't have any more comments, guys. Uh, we're going to talk. She we're doesn't have talk. any more comments. Thanks, no. guys. That's Keith Freeman, whom Henyard hired at both Dalton and Thornton Township and was part of her Springfield walk. Look at Keith. Keith, baby! Freeman also filed paperwork for the charity bearing Henyard's name. Why are you using public money for your personal charity? $17,000. And with that, her security detail hustled Henyard upstairs and blocked the staircase with a table. So now, there's an issue. See, whenever you have a charity accepting money from the public, literally taking public funds, you have to file paperwork with the state because the state wants to make sure that everything's going to up and up. You're not just spending the money on whatever you want, right? You're using those funds for the charity, for cancer, as she claims. But do you think Tiffany A. Hinyard and her cronies have filed the paperwork that they're legally required to file with the state? WGN Investigates has learned a suburban politician's charity has attracted the attention of the Illinois Attorney General after failing to file financial documents. We've reported on Tiffany Henyard. She holds two elected positions, Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor. She's used those positions to steer money to her own cancer charity. But how that money is being used is anyone's guess. She certainly may help some, but Henyard's charity has failed to file required financial statements showing income and expenses. WGN Investigates obtained this letter from December in which the Illinois Attorney General threatened civil penalties are imposed against persons who do not register with this office as required. Now think about this, $10,000 in cash to the personal charity. Then on top of that, $17,000 for the t-shirts. Then on top of that, another ten to $11,000 for hotel rooms. And you, if you thought that was all, no. She was using village employees and city employees to also do the stuff for this, ta for this walk. Also, she's using the vehicles. Listen to one of the board members from the town explain it. I saw the video. Um, township vehicles being used. Township employees being used. Once again, 
Were they paid? Were they given comp time or things of that nature? Um, so there's just, I mean, unfortunately, there's a long list. Hotel use, um, meals. So now Tiffany A. Henyard has a little problem. See, when you have a charity and you're using taxpayer money to fund it, well, it's under heightened scrutiny because now you have to tell the attorney general's office how you're spending that money. If you don't tell them how you're spending that money, they come after you because they have no choice. Matter of fact, here is the attorney general's office threatening Tiffany A. Henyard with legal action. We've obtained a new letter sent this week to Henyard's charity in which the attorney general's office warns failure to comply will leave us no alternative but to pursue all available legal remedies. WGN Investigates reported the charity has received taxpayer money to fund some of its activities, and the foundation's registered agent also works for Dalton and Thornton Township. Neither have responded to repeated requests for comment. See, now things have gotten even worse. Because of issues of transparency, we have something known as the Freedom of Information Act. So what happens is news organizations give you a Freedom of Information Act request, and you have to tell them how you're spending public funds. But Tiffany A. Henyard and her cronies have just essentially stopped honoring any requests. Check it out. Actually, we have a lot more questions, but neither Tiffany Henyard nor her advisor, Keith Freeman, responded to our request for comment. And the two governments they control have stopped releasing financial records requested by us under the Freedom of Information Act. The Illinois Attorney General plans to make another demand for information from Henyard's charity this week. Now, it's official. The attorney general is on Tiffany A. Henyard. So we'll see what the state AG does, because there's a lot here, obviously. But some people have been reporting that the FBI has been investigating Tiffany A. Henyard. I don't know if that's true or not, because the DOJ, which is the FBI, they don't confirm or deny if they're investigating anybody. So you, won't, so you wouldn't know. It's like you can call them and say, hey, are you, are you investigating Tiffany A. Henyard? They're going to say, we don't confirm or deny. So people who are reporting that, I don't know how they've come to that conclusion, because that can't be confirmed until the indictment or something is out. But again, we'll see. They may be right. They could be wrong. Right now, what we do know is that the AG is looking into it, and Tiffany A. Henyard has some issues. Now, with that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Ethel Lawyer, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.